What is up everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Rocket Vlogs. I'm wearing no hat, I know, it's weird, but even weirder is the lighting behind me. I don't usually get a chance to film at this time of day, but I'm off for jury duty today and um, I'm done for the day. So I figured I'd come home, work on a new rocket. But first, I want to tell you guys that we are going to be at Cloudburst, March 25th and 26th. It's also known as the Argonia Cup. There's going to be a lot of really cool flights with the universities, and we are flying the big 12-inch Punisher. Same motor combination, a central N3300 Redline, three L1520s, and three K1000s. When, not if, when all seven motors light, it's going to be a super huge, like 15-foot-long, bright pink flame, and it is going to be awesome. So if you're in the area of Argonia, you should definitely come out to that launch. Come out, say hi. I'm going to try to bring some stickers with me, but we will see if I actually remember to do that this time because I didn't last time. I apologize to the couple of people that came up and asked for them. I will do my best to remember them. My cousin Shane and I are both driving, so we'll be able to bring a couple other rockets. I'm actually flying my 5-inch Punisher again on its first 98mm motor, the Aerotech M4500 Super Thunder, which is going to be a little bit terrifying, but... Uh, It'll definitely put my building skills with that rocket to the test. And then, if it survives the M4500, it might be time to start considering putting an end motor in that thing. That's a financial burden for me in the future and not right now. Speaking of financial, if you want to help put some gas in the tank for this trip and continue all the rocket content coming, of course, I will be covering as many launches as I can on the new camera, for which I just bought a new all-in-one long-length lens for shooting the video of rocket launches. And it's actually a little bit longer than the lens I used to use on my old camera. So we should be able to get a little bit closer on the faraway flights, including our own with the 12 inch Punisher. I think it's going to be super, super cool. So uh, yeah, the Thunderstruck version of the APCP shirt is available right now at rocketvlogs.com. Through the end of the month, I'm going to leave the coupon code CLOUDBURST as the coupon code. You can get 10% off anything you purchase at rocketvlogs.com. Now through the end of March, not just the new Thunderstruck version of the APCP shirt, but anything that's currently there. Of course, that logo is available on the beer pint glass, which was a hotly requested item to make a return. So that's available as well as hoodie and a long sleeve shirt. 10% off anything at rocketvlogs.com. Use discount code CLOUDBURST, which is right here. Today, we are building one of my childhood dream rockets. My friend Robert just put this up for sale on the Rocket Forum not too long ago. And I have wanted an Aerotech Sumo seriously since I was about 11 years old. And I never bought one, and this came up with such a good deal that I just, you know, I kind of escalated so fast into big, big rockets and everything over the past couple of years that I like, I didn't really explore the thoughts of these rockets I've wanted since I was uh, younger, except for the bigger stuff like the Honest John and everything like that. But uh, building the four inch Little John was so fun for me that I decided uh, we're gonna take some steps back and this isn't the only one. I got another one off my childhood bucket list. But uh, we're starting with the Aerotech Sumo because it is such an iconic kit. And of course, my friend Taylor over at the Rocket Channel, go subscribe to the Rocket Channel. Uh, he is also from the Anti Gravity Group. Um, he built a fiberglass clone of the Sumo, which is super cool, and he's doing videos on that, and the painting and everything like that. But I'm going to build the OG Aerotech Sumo. Well, OG to an extent. It's the one with the retainer and the conformal rail guides, which is super awesome. Um, but yeah, we're going to be doing this build a little bit backwards, and I'll show you what I mean here in a second. But for those who aren't familiar, this is Aerotech's level 1 ready 4 inch diameter super stubby rocket, and it's one of my favorite rockets largely because of the Gates Brother 12 inch version, which I finally got to see in person at LDRS a couple of years ago. And uh, again in person when I was up to Seattle hanging out with Bryce, who now owns the Sumo. But uh, yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna get started building this and I'll show you exactly what I mean when I say that I'm building it backwards. And interestingly enough, you guys know I love CA and Aerotech's instructions pretty much say to build every rocket they have using only CA. So you know that's exactly what I'm going to do. But you can see Aerotech, the fins have these little tabs that lock into these rings that sit on the motor tube that you glue onto the motor tube. And uh, they, Aerotech uses these interesting like pressed fiber material uh, for the centering rings and the bolt plates. And uh, there's a big old hunk of elastic shock cord in there and you bet we are using that as well. Uh, this thing's pretty much getting built uh, exactly as stock would intend for it to be unless uh, I don't think they do the baffle stuff anymore uh, or any of that. 
that jazz. So yeah. Oh, they still include the the quarter inch. If you should decide you want to, for whatever reason, use a launch rod instead of a launch rail. But yeah, other than a few minor adjustments, we will be building this exactly as uh, as the instructions would lead you to believe, except for the order we're doing it in, which is what I discussed earlier. Okay, I know the uh, heater's on, and the audio is probably not going to be as good as I have made it in some past videos, but that is okay. So we're going to use this uh, three-sided ruler for a nice straight line here. Right there, baby. Aerotech kits give you a unique opportunity because when you build the rocket, the fins snap into the lock-in fin rings. I think that's what it's called. Maybe that's the lock precision one. The fin lock rings, sorry. The fins snap into these fin lock rings and that's it. Um, you don't do fillets, you don't do anything. So, what I'm going to do is paint the rocket before I assemble it. And then once the paint's dry, I can just snap and glue everything together like a tester's model and we're done. So, the nice thing about a rocket using only two rail guides is if they aren't perfectly, perfectly straight, it will be okay. Um, but you do want them to be as close as you can get them. While well, I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to mask off the upper piece of all these fins. I'm going to show you how I'm going to paint them all at once. There you go. Just took a box, cut some slits in it, made it so the fins are all far enough apart that I am convinced I could do a decent job spraying them. Okay, sorry, just trying to get this stuff situated before the cloud cover is supposed to move in out here. But uh, yeah, here's a cool way for you to dry a tube if you're ever looking for a cool way to dry a tube. Just uh, put it on a mop handle, lean it up against something. Now, of course, I recognize that painting this stuff before I put it together kind of rules out the option of doing fillets to the fins against the airframe. But that's not something I really plan on doing with this rocket. One of the nicest thing about Aerotech rockets is the lock and fin system and the fact that that's all very, very stout and uh, that's what bears the load of the rocket motor. So, um, this you're not really doing much by adding external fillets to the airframe and I'm sure somebody could argue that you are and I'm wrong, but that's fine. And one of my favorite thing about Aerotech kits is that the parts are just readily available. So. If I happen to snap a fin off on landing or whatever, which I really doubt is going to happen, I can just buy a new fin, dig the old one out and snap a new one in and there you go, you're done. This is actually exactly the case that happened with my dad's level one rocket, which is an Aerotech strong arm. They flew on a Kazan H155, I believe, fast motor. And he flew a bunch of times and it broke when the fins off and that that's it, that's all there was. But that rocket didn't have any external fillets and it flew on several H motors and more G motors than I care to even try to remember. So I'm not worried about this uh, heavier, slower flying boy losing fins anywhere but on landing. Look at that. I love it when a plan comes together. A um, couple adjustments I made. One second, let me put this fin back down. They've been drying for, I don't know, probably four or five hours, but I don't really want to really grip them and rip them just yet. I used the retainer that's now included in the kit to mark where the back ring's going to go. I don't want the back ring pressed all the way up there. And then I know it's going to be recessed in the rocket pretty far, but just the thought there being this much space between the ring and where the retainer is glued really bothers my uh, OCD side a little bit. So, and uh, yeah, other than that, that's 
really the only adjustment I've made. We're going to, the instructions say to slit the tube a little bit to get that guy in there. We're probably gonna have to do that. And then of course, the eye bolt threads in there. And then shock cord goes onto that eye bolt. We're gonna do that and I might, I'll probably drip some CA down in there as well. But uh, yeah, we'll see how I'm feeling in a few hours after I get some stuff I need to get done done on those fins and see if I feel like I can even go ahead and glue them in today. In which case the rocket would be pretty much done except for the nose cones not painted yet. Had a bit of a texture issue with the primer so I need to sand it, but that's okay. So the paint's been drying on the fins in the airframe tube for about 10 hours now. So there's potential room for regret here, but I'm gonna put on gloves. I'm going to try to make this a painted finished rocket in one day, which is pretty crazy. The good knot, but I'm going to put another one in just to be safe there. We'll admit the paint makes this a little bit more of a painstaking process, but hey. What can you do? Interestingly, there is quite a bit of a gap right there. Um, not a very fast flying rocket uh, and super light. So I'm really still not worried about them coming off. But uh, I might, after the paint dries completely, just get some more of this thick CA in there and kind of do a little gap filler right there. Just for a little peace of mind. But hey, it's built and it's painted, so we're just going to go ahead and put the decals on while we're here. Went to pull the uh, old transfer tape off and realized that's not transfer tape, it's just a printed decal on a clear piece of vinyl, like a big giant SD kit. So uh, yeah, I guess that huge clear block is staying on this thing now, which is really unfortunate, but uh, it is what it is, I guess. Um, maybe once the paint's dry, if I feel so inclined, I'll go in there with an X-Acto knife and try and trim it up, but probably not. Oh well, you probably can't even tell that it's there on camera, but it is what it is. How perfectly ironic that I was like, ah, eh, the run, there's a little paint run, and I'm not feeling the spirals and stuff. This is like a rocket I wanted when I was 12, so I'm going to impatiently build it like I'm 12, but, you know, just with a little bit of modern finesse. And then I go and make a 12 year old mistake. <sighs> I'm probably not going to do the rest of the decals now, this is bugging me, but uh, thank you guys for tuning into another episode of Rocket Vlogs. Uh, don't forget to check out all the merch. Use the discount code CloudBurst for 10% off your order at rocketvlogs.com. Patreon supporter names and channel members are rolling across the screen if you want to join either one of those. The links are in the description. For as little as a dollar a month, you get behind the scenes photos and sneak peek stuff and videos and new projects that haven't been announced on the channel yet have long been announced on patreon so if you want to see what i got coming up go check it out for now my name is brayden you just watched the rocket vlogs video and i will see you next time okay i lied i put them all on there you go there's my sumo i'm so happy with it except for the decal thing that makes me a little sad but whatever i just still gotta put the retainer on